plug connectors, lights, hardware, mounting solution. Give you a little sneak peek right here of the, yeah, that's enough for now. Raptor lights, yes. I'm talking about Raptor lights, and no, this is clearly not a Raptor. It's not nearly as fast, as capable, as cool, really any of the above. It gets better fuel mileage though. I'm gonna lay out everything that I think you need to install Raptor lights on a ZR2. A regular Colorado might work on that too. I'm, I'm not positive. Here is some of the stuff. Got your basic hardware. I have the lights itself, which I have to open. I have some aluminum bar stock, which we're gonna custom make to hold these lights. A lot of guys put um, Raptor lights in these trucks. Raptor lights, I should say. And they, bird crap? And they put them in here and then like zip time around here, which works fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't want to have zip ties in the front of my truck. So I'm going to show a different way to do it that I think will look nicer and, and last longer and be a little bit more permanent. Let me show you the lights that I got. I'll link these in the description. These are just a generic set of little LED lights that I got from eBay. They weren't very expensive. What I liked about them is real simple design. It's just a nut, so I'll put this through the bar stock basically, put a nut on the other side, wire them in, call it done. And I got three of them. A couple other little things that we're gonna need. Fuse tap, butt connectors, lights, hardware, mounting solution. Let's get started. Put these grill bolts out for the time being, just to have a little extra room. The mounts are gonna attach, I'm gonna put a bolt right here and here and here, and we're just gonna go straight down. I'm gonna drill those a while. All right, so far, there's the three holes. I'm gonna drill them out a little bigger, big enough to fit these bolts. So there's the three bolts in. Should be a pretty clean install. This isn't necessarily like pop out at you when you open the hood. It doesn't look that out of place, which was what I was going for. Now this length, I don't know what I'm gonna cut it to yet. It's just flat bar aluminum I got from Home Depot. All right, now I'm gonna put a 90 in this. Not bad, especially for not having any fancy tools. Where this bolt goes, this bracket's gonna sit in here. It's gonna be bolted at the top where I made that 90. So now I just wanna mark about how far down I want this to go, which doesn't need to be much. I think I'm gonna leave it a little shorter, like that. Let's cut this and go from there. That's our new size. Now I just mark the middle, not left to right, but up and down middle as to where that bolt's gonna go. So I'm gonna center this, drill the hole, mount it, see what it looks like, and then I'll just copy these for the other two. There's that. I wanna make sure this will work for the center one too, just in case anything's different. Or... That'll work. Here it is, loosely bolted in. I'm just pulling this bolt up to simulate it being tightened. So I, I really like the positioning of that. Just enough room for the light to go right there. Easy peasy. I just wanna mark about where I want this light to go. And this is the nut for the light. So I'm gonna basically center it as best I can. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work just fine. Oh boy. Of course I dropped it and it's aluminum so a magnet won't work. Maybe I can get sneaky with these. Oh, there we go. So here's the nut for the light. I'm just gonna center that. Put this nut on, tighten it down, and just see how it looks when it's 
fully in there. All right, there it is. Then I'm gonna round these edges too. But I'm happy with that. Perfect. I'm just going to run a 5 amp fuse in there, that should be all I need for these little lights. F50. The hole right over here, so you can run this wire nice and neatly down that hole and then I'll follow this wire loom. And then we maybe just up here, like it never even happened. Oh, yeah. Great success. Oh, yes. Okay. That's all you see is like that little bulb. That's it. Yeah. Clean. Hashtag. Here we go. Yeah, I was blown away out of how clean these daytime strips are. Yeah, I didn't know. I was worried it wouldn't be that bright. No, they're clean. They all like they don't look like uh, you, like little individual diodes. You know what I mean? Well, the GoPro died uh, shockingly. So all you really missed in the video was me just uh, finishing up the wiring. Let me go over that and show you how I actually wired these in. Very very simple. You would have been bored watching the video anyway. So let's get to that. Maybe back it up and get a little more room first. Give you a little sneak peek right here of the, yeah, that's enough for now. Anyway. Golly, that's close. So from under here, right? Right? Not bad, can't really tell anything's done. So what I did, Here's the fuse panel, obviously. You saw where I had the fuse in there with the wiring, the fuse tap, the power wire. This runs down here and along here. You can see that I have running in here. Then it comes over here, right in there. Just runs along inside here, loops down. There you can see just one of the wires because it's, it's right here. The three of these, I have them just all hooked together into one wire. That one wire runs over there. Um, for the power. For the ground, same thing. I have them all together. One ground runs up here and right here to that bolt. Very simple. Could not be any easier as wiring. Um, like I showed in the video, F50. Um, it's uh, trailer brakes. Comes on with parking lots. Perfect. Here are the three bolts. Again, looks pretty factory, right? No obnoxious wires hanging out, no weird brackets and all that. And here you can see the lights. I mean, really, that's all you see. You see here, I rounded those edges off at the bottom to look a little more clean. One, two, three. 
There they are, super easy, very hidden, hard to see. What would make these even better is if they made these, and I don't know if they do, in like a smoked lens. I mean, you'd hardly see them at all. I mean, from back here, you don't even notice them, which is exactly what I was going for. That's why I made this video so I can share with you guys. Now you guys know how to do it. It's very easy. I mean, three bolts, three nuts, three brackets, three lights, and some wiring. That's it. And that'll all be linked in the description, the lights that I got. I mean, I'm, I think the lights, you'll see, I think they were like less than $8. They were like 7 bucks for three of them on eBay. So all together, this was a very cheap mod, easy to do, probably took two hours, maybe three, um, just if you're taking your time and painting the brackets and, and doing all that and trying to make the wiring look at least decent. So without further ado, I'm going to wash this, going to go get some videos. Um, so I want to get like some dusk photos, maybe some dusk videos, some, some video where you can actually see uh, the raptor lights when it's dark. Let's get washed. this pretty good spot next to a building uh, for some pictures and drone footage and stuff and it has this nice sign up um, which shows that people do care and I appreciate it so don't forget to thank your doctors nurses first responders and more a nice little sign there. I got some good pictures with it so that wraps up this video guys hope you like the Raptor lights for those of you wondering about installing them hopefully this helps you guys out it shows you uh, an easy, pretty quick way to do it, inexpensive as well, and more permanent fixture than zip ties or, you know, anything like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.